Hello from Fine Arts. Happy 2021. 2021. It's going to be a great year. We're going to start out our art lesson today learning how to do lettering. So you need to start with a pencil and um, it took me a lot of tries to do this. So remember that it is okay to go slow and to try more than once, okay? And this is our pop art. And I also used crayons today. I used primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. And I used watercolors. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is start by teaching you how to draw the two in the 2000s place. So we're gonna start on the left side of our paper, okay? And we're actually gonna start with a border first. So get your paper, get your pencil, get your Sharpie, because here we go. All right, first thing is first, I'm gonna do a border, and I'm gonna get my Sharpie with for this part. Start on the left side, go down, across, down, across. Put your name in the corner because every artist should sign their artwork. And I started this with a Sharpie. And then I'm gonna put my Sharpie aside. I'm gonna get my pencil. So the first thing I started with is the two and for the 2000. And we're gonna do a pencil um, drawing our two kind of on the left side. Okay, so I start right about here and I'm gonna just draw um, the number two. Okay, and go very light because we're gonna erase this. All right, then I'm gonna grab my Sharpie and the two is gonna be kind of in the center and so we're going to um, go around the outside and then this one's gonna come down straight and you're gonna kind of put a block letter all the way so that the two is on the inside. Then I'm going to erase it. So you do need an eraser today. And if you make a mistake, that's okay. I made six mistakes trying to, trying to create this lesson. So just remember that you might wanna practice first. Okay, now you can see my two has, I kind of went over it um, thicker and then I added uh, to make it three dimensional. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so get your Sharpie and I'm gonna just go around one more time, a little bit straight, straighter. making it a little bit thicker. Okay, make sure you can see that. All right, now um, to do the, the texture around, I did, I started on this side, I did a line out and I did a straight line here and then I did a straight line here and then this one kind of came off around the outside like this. Okay, notice it's not perfect. And then I did, um, I started on the bottom and I just did some diagonals and I kind of turned it with it going all the way around. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. We're just practicing. Okay, looks good. And then um, I took my red crayon and I filled in this part with the red crayon. Okay. The other thing I did is that I don't want to mix the red and the yellow paint, so I kind of outlined the rest so that the crayon created a resist border. It actually works really amazing. So on this side here, kind of just outline 
the red so that you keep the red paint inside the red paint. There we go. It's a kind of outlined. All right. All right, okay. Now, for the um, zero in the hundreds place, so we have thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. Yes, it's a math lesson. So do you say 2021 or do you say 2021? Okay, so the zero, I just sketched that one. Actually, I didn't even use a pencil. I just kind of eyeballed it. So, so I just used my Sharpie for this one and I just drew kind of a zero. And then I put another um, oval on the inside, kind of like that. And then to give it more, and then maybe make it just a little bit bolder. And if you're using a really thick Sharpie, use the tip of it. Okay. All right. Then on this side, do a little arc and some diagonal lines. There we go. And then the same thing on this side around here, it goes all the way around make it look like a block letter and diagonals. And then same thing with the red crayon. And then go around the outside of this. Okay, so we're halfway done. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do that two again right here. And, um, oh, I use a pencil. So kind of look at where that one is and I sketch it, just practicing. There we go. So I use my pencil and then you're gonna use your Sharpie to go around it. Go nice and slow. Cross, down, cross, straight, circle all the way around. There we go. Then go over it one more time just to make it a little bit bolder. I designed this lesson inspired by Roy Lichtenstein. Okay, there we go. Looking at that one. Okay. Um, then, same thing as this one. I'm going to go straight, across, up, across, and then it goes all the way around. And then I did some diagonals. and then erase the two. The two is probably the hardest. Okay, and then use your crayon. Go around that outside. So there's a nice border, okay. And then the last one, 2021, it's just a straight rectangle. And I think I did it with, um, without measuring, but you can use your pencil or I just did straight line, across, down, across. And then to make it three dimensional, I did diagonal, diagonal, connect these, and then straight line down. Diagonal. Oh, it looks like a tall rectangular prism. Okay, and then my little lines. Okay, and color with red. Okay, and then I outline this also on the side so that there's a so it keeps the red paint inside. Okay, so 
2021. That was the hardest part of this lesson. The next part I have is the zigzags that I did in yellow. So they're kind of like starting in the letter A, or you might want to say, I sometimes call it a triangle. It's the start of a triangle, two sides. Okay, so here we go. So using my Sharpie, and I just, I didn't, I just went with it. So just starting over here by the two, I do like triangle, and then I made this side thicker just to give it um, dimension. I did another one. Maybe you can make this one smaller. This one. And they're, so they're just kind of like pokies. What am I going to call it? Hmm. I don't know. I made them all different. And I made the right side thicker. So just go with it. Whatever you're feeling. I think I'm feeling like a crooked triangle here. And then this one. And I'm still keeping with that on the right side thicker. Okay, I'm going to stop right there and come back to this side. Same thing, right side is thicker. Just some triangles. And they're going to connect. And then go back and straighten any of those that you need to. Okay, then the next thing I did was this cloud that's white around and I just kind of did um, some arcs. So starting back over here it's just kind of like, this is the part that we're going to keep um, white. It's like there's like a little cloud. These are more rounded, so they're not pokey. And then um, actually get your yellow crayon and we're going to go around the outside yellow border so that the yellow paint stays on the inside. So I just used my yellow crayon outlining all of these zi zigzags. So you can see those. So you keep the paint inside that area. Okay, and then that area also has polka dots because that's what Roy Lichtenstein did. So we'll just do, and I made my polka dots a little bit thicker. I didn't just dot them. So inside, just have fun with it did all different sizes, close to the edge. You're welcome to change this if you want. Okay, and then, so that part will all be yellow. Then the last thing was these stripes that are blue. And so I just did lines out, diagonal lines. So just diagonal line out. I just, and I just kind of went um, 
random. There wasn't just kind of with how I was feeling. I don't know. And then I took my blue crayon because they are every other stripe, blue, white, blue, white. And I outlined this little piece to keep the blue paint inside so it doesn't spill over to the white. Okay, so just start in one section and you're gonna go down, you know, you're gonna kind of outline that section to keep the blue paint there. And this is blue, so that one's white. And I just did like a AB pattern, like blue, white, blue, white. And your crayon is made of wax, so it will keep the paint inside that area. White, blue, and then, remember those are your little white puffy clouds, but you can change this any way you want. White, this one's blue, white, blue, white, white, blue, And then it looks like I have two left, so maybe I will, because then there's two whites. So I'm going to add uh, one more line right, right here. There we go. So keep that one white and make this one blue. Okay, I think we are ready, ready to paint. So I always start with the yellow. And then I did, I let the yellow kind of rest, and then I did blue. Get your paints. Get your water. Make sure you can see this. Okay, and I like to have relaxing music on. So, um, let's see. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to start with yellow. Wake up your yellow. Hello, yellow, happy 2021. So the yellow part is the part with the polka dots. And my yellow is pretty vibrant, so if yours is looking pretty light, you are welcome to do two, more than one coat. Now the painting should be the easy part because we used all that crayon.
Clean your brush. I like to wipe it on a paper towel. Wake up your red. These are our primary colors. Now, if your red looks pink, you can add some orange to it on your palette. If it's if it looks too, if it's look, if it's like that looks kind of pink, so I'm gonna take my red, put it on the side, maybe add a little orange to it. It'll make it a little bit more of a red color. Notice how the crayon is like a resist effect. It keeps it in there. Oh, I forgot the yellow in the middle. <laughs> okay, I'll go back and fix that in a minute. And I might have I think I might have did more than one coat if it doesn't, if it looks too light. Oops. You can also put some paint on that, where that crayon is. It'll fill it in if you didn't color it perfect. Okay. Now let me show you a trick. See how I have a little bit that's spilled out? I can take my dry a dry brush and kind of wipe it up. Oh, look at that. Amazing. You could take a little bit of water to smear it around. Now I forgot the yellow in the middle. There it is. That's much better. There we go. Put a little yellow there. Okay. All right. Last thing is the blue. Now um, pay attention to where you put the blue crayon. Wake up the blue, and you're gonna just just do it inside that area. Go nice and slow. I kind of go faster because I only have a short amount of time to zoom with you. When I designed this lesson, I actually spent a lot more time on it. I love pop art. I think it's so fun. And you can make another one of these with your name. I will put some samples of letters in the slideshow. If you wanted to do your name this way. If you were stuck on the letters, then just, just do regular. You don't have to make them uh, three-dimensional. Now see how I got that blue on the white because I was going fast? Watch how I do it. I take a dry brush, wipe it up, maybe take some of that water, kind of wipe it up. See how it's kind of forgiving, kind of going fast because I know this video is getting long. Okay. Okay, and again, you can let the areas dry and do one more coat of paint if you want them to look even brighter because pop art is very vibrant. Vibrant means 
right. Okay, I hope you had fun learning about Roy Lichtenstein today and making your 2021 pop art. It's going to be a fabulous year. Thank you, 2021. Okay, until next time. See you later. Bye, everybody.